or tell him what this crazy git will do. I think we need, now need to like rent a horse and down because we are three riders and one horse. Well, technically you're a floater, which is why the knights once again stopped you all. Because <laughs> that's kind of weird, man. <laughs> How uh, the, a girl just like floating behind, tied to a rope. Yeah, that is look. Funny. I like to I like to role play a kite. Okay. <laughs> That's just how I feel on the inside. That I I was a kite. I'm just you know light and floaty. I was I am a kite trapped <laughs> in a girl's body. <laughs> So are you riding User through the night? Your channel. I'm um, here. Hark, who goes there? Yeah, I think like Varen is. Well, Varen has taken off, and we're just falling behind at this point. Yeah, I mean, Milo um, can hop on the back of a bear lover, and so then we, we would just have pull Aaron. At that. <laughs> to get to the point of Stormhall, you guys would end up with three levels of exhaustion. Yeah. How does exhaustion work again? Uh, disadvantage on ability checks, halved, halved speed, and disadvantage on attack and saving throws. Yeah, see, so exhaustion is I don't, bad. I don't think it's... Is it that one? I didn't think it had gotten up to half movement speed yet. Well, you, um... Oh, maybe that's two. By the time we get there... I was very tired speed. when I was looking at it last night. Yeah, from Everland, you had gone to Silvery Moon, and then you're going to ride two more days to Stormhall. So... Uh... In the brief period in the Moonwood, Varen like basically collapses and ends up making a hide for himself and just like sleeping stealthed, essentially. Does that make sense? Like so So basically we would trip over like, you. Like long resting in the in the trees, basically. In the trees. Yeah. But, and I also use the Hydra Vata Trace sort of thing to kind of construct mm. like a you know basically a nest. Mm-hmm. We'd, we'd be, we wouldn't be that far behind him, so we'd be able to catch up with him pretty, pretty mm -hmm. easily enough. But well, it's, that depends. It's... My, my horse has got one rider, is an Ephraim, and is now also booking shit. I'm pushing it to the very limits of what it can do. Also, how I mean, we're all going to be, we're all going to be completely exhausted by the time we get there. It's probably not going to be the greatest idea if we have to fight anything at location, but we can mm. manage it. Well, the idea is that I'm not metagaming. I'm like, now I need yeah, to no, see Yeah, I, no, I, I know. You're like, you have just learned that your home is destroyed. You're booking shit because you don't give a shit anymore. This is also the home that I thought I never had and then regained. So, um, I guess the question is, are the rest of us going to, like, Follow just the fast. Well, see, the problem is going to. Well, you see, but I mean, the problem is, if he's gonna hide up in a tree, we're not gonna we're know insane. that he stopped. So, I'd say and we go as fast as we think we're capable of, and then um, we'll catch up with him eventually. Ostrich's mount also is fast enough to keep rough yeah. pace, so yeah, long as you guys kept at the same run. Yeah. Plus, as yeah, a summon if I'm, mount. If I'm, if I'm riding with Rolfi on on Bear, uh, we and yeah, we, we would keep behind. Again. We would keep behind him, like close yeah. enough to keep him in sight. At very least, in sight. Yeah. So, uh, night falls. There isn't really a peep from the forest. Um. Riding towards Stormhall for the next day. Uh, Kyler, could you roll Perception and or History and or both? <laughs> A.K.A. roll Perception and History at the same time. Fuck's sake, this is my hometown where I did all of my fucking rangering. Reroll your History. <laughs> I Not think that I have advantage. Because... Yeah. You got an eight for advantage. It's not that great. Oh, I was talking more. Oh, oh, that's right. I've got advantage on both. We forget that it's ant and whiz. These woods aren't here. Like the 
the Moonwood seems to be much farther than it used to be. And the road seems to have been lost. Well, this is uh, as concerning. A, as an elf, or a half-elf who grew up in the Moonwood, I would be aware of, like, the elven influence mm -hmm. over it, yeah? Yeah. Would it be correct in drawing the conclusion that maybe the elves are moving towards Stormhall? Um, that'd be a thought, but these woods seem to be much farther than physically possible. Out of interest, how I look at uh, examining the trees. I'm going to do an insight check on the... Mm -hmm. Fucking a dandy to get the same roll. Okay. Do they what seem you, legit? Are you going to, like, poke at them, or are you just looking yeah, at I'm them? Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of like when I was making my hide, I'm examining. Them. Oh. Well, you had made your little hive way before actually where the trees seem to not be normally at. So, are are you going to poke at the trees now, or are yeah, you gonna... yeah, now? Your hand goes right through one of them. As in save. I think it's actually an investigation check, isn't it? Oh boy. Unless the spell this is illusionary terrain. Out of interest, for the sake of metagaming, mm -hmm. is that still technically my favorite terrain then? Um, no. Technically not. As you're now in kind of a grasslandsy area. I have grasslands, I think. Mountain uh, I would also like to investigate the uh, mountain swamp and forest. Illusionary terrain. Yeah. It's definitely illusionary, and it seems to actually be taking the road elsewhere. Oh, so it's like, it's it's making the road go one way where in it, when it's actually going somewhere else. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am going to use my, out, my Wanderer feature. Mm-hmm which is I always remember maps and kind of mentally plot the direction that I should be going. Mm -hmm. uh, can I just point out where the actual road goes? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, basically. I also leave a ma I also fire a series of arrows in a line which now have like... light cantrip on them as, an, as a marker. Oh, it, um... it... It takes a little bit of persuading, but Farrah does go through the trees at some point or another later on. Yeah. Um. So, so question, Gilded. Um. Can I take Can I take ten for um for fixing Mercy, or do I have to roll? Um. Just uh, just to get her functional again. Yeah. Yeah. Roll. Okay. Damn it. Okay then. Please don't. Please don't be. Please. 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 Okay. Ah, you're good. Yay, hmm? she's fixed. I bend, I bend the barrel back into place. Check her. Make sure she's working. Screw it up. Make sure yeah. Ramrod. How long does the light can't you blow? True. Yep. Uh, it lasts a couple um, hours. As I'm sort of moving towards the right now. Alright. Also, um, did I shoot? I did, didn't I? And on the um, on the path that you were taking, it would have actually rough guess would have ended up in a place that actually looks a lot like the Stormhall's location, but it wouldn't have been where Stormhall is. So that would lead to the assumption that it's gone. And late does last an hour. Can I determine anything about the illusionary terrain that we're currently walking through? What are you looking to determine? Like, what might have been casting that wide of an area of illusion? Um, illusionary terrain is normally actually quite massive as a concept. Okay. Um, so. Like, what, what could possibly generate that kind of a magical field? Um... 
pretty much any well-trained wizard. Okay. Fair enough. Druids, Druids can do, can it, do it as well. Um. Yeah, it's a fourth as well. Yeah. As you uh, as you continue through the the time, you actually happen upon what looks like claw marks in the road, like something very large swooped down, grabbed whatever was on the road, and swooped off with it. Oh god, are these uh, dragon sized? Definitely dragon sized. Okay. Lovely. All right. Watch the skies. Be careful. As you are... Hmm? Do you saw those? Um, well, anyone who is actually looking with their eyes. Would... <laughs> they're, they're, rather, they're rather large claw marks on the ground. You know what I mean? is like, because I'm ahead of them, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you would have definitely seen them. I've got, um... Full terrain out. Mm -hmm. I continue so, on. A few more minutes of riding, you actually start seeing the um the general shape of Stormhall on the the distance. So it's so, not gone. It is not seemingly actually removed from this planet. Sweet. Yay. Baron like lets out a deep breath. Didn't realize you've been up holding. <laughs> and you promptly fall asleep. On your horse. In the middle of the road. No, no, no. No, no, Bam no. Dead. No, no, no. Acrobatic save. <laughs> And then just clock you in the shoulder. See? I knew, I knew it all turned out okay. Yeah, a little bit more riding and you, you're upon kind of the entrance. And it's not closed, it seems to be sealed. Wait, if we join back up with each other again? Um... By this point, you should have them at least a few minutes behind you, at most. I thought, if, I thought it was more dramatic. I won't. Well, kind your of like... horse and their mount also have pretty similar stats. Yeah, it was just sort of the thing, because I, I was under the impression I would just move quicker because there was one of me on my horse, as opposed to two and a kite. Maybe there's not supposed to do that. Oh. Anyway, well, I was gonna wait pretty much as, like on the cusp. Mm -hmm. Like so, you wait a short bit, and everyone else kind of arrives again. As I come out of the shadows. Kind of rejoin it. Like I sort of like I gonna just drop in behind. Oh, there's Farron. It's me. Anyone? Lucky anyone I like there? you. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't pull stuff like that anymore. You have friends. Secondly, I knew it'd turn out. You're supposed Did to be you our know? leader. You can't be cutting off without us. Ah, yes. The democratically elected leader. We did kind of just, like, push leadership duties on him suddenly. Kind of. Anyway. I don't suppose your family has a couple extra beds, do they? Because... Well, we're about to find out if I still have some family. I mean, the place looks intact enough. The... But you notice the um, illusionary road and terrain. 
I assume that's for their own protection. 